Welcome, trans theorists, to Collection Update 2. And last video, I did a Q&A, but I actually forgot somebody. His name was Kababa in a role, 1234. I'm actually going to do his question right now. So what he said was, what do you think about Bowman and Optimus Prime when they change their appearance from Dark of the Moon to Age of Extinction? I honestly do not like their designs, and I think they're worse, because I love the original trilogy, Optimus Prime and Bombi, and I think they were the best. Now let's get on to the collection update too. So, today I actually got a package in the mail. And yeah, at the Trans Series channel, with cameras, I have a horrible job. I'm so sorry, guys. But I gotta say, thanks for the 500 plus subscribers. It's been great. And no, I'm actually using a camera. So, I'm actually not experienced with this. So if you guys have any tips or tricks, please comment down below, because I actually need some. So, I know what this is, but I'm going to let you guys experience for yourself. And, what a lot of people notice in the first channel update is I cannot use a knife properly. I cannot make a straight line, so, yeah. And today we're going to be using an Erecto knife, or Exacto, whatever you want to call it. So, let's go open this. So, we got the knife blade open. So, let's go start opening this package. Now, we got the package facing down, and let's open it, shall we? So... Remember, always ask your parents permission before using blades. Even though I didn't. But I'm a bad example, you know? I'm not a, you know, a good person to get advice from talking to your parents because, you know, guess who did not do that with a knife? And I can barely even hold a knife properly. So, as you can see, I can't even make a freaking straight line. So, can we open it from here? Because I had the first episode, I rewatched it and I was laughing because I had a horrible time opening packages and this thing is pretty boxed up pretty well I actually got this two days ago came pretty quick and to give you guys a hint this is actually a studio series figure who is it go comment on the poll so the funny thing is I was actually gonna get this figure from the Hasbro shop but they're all sold out every single guy is sold out but they're 10 more bucks on eBay so if you guys are interested in buying your own studio series figure then go on eBay because eBay has only uh, a limited supply so far, just the ones that are 10 bucks more. And I got this one, and there's like three more left. So, yeah. So, yay, we got the box open. About time. It's better than the last run that we had. Move headphones. I know, my room is very messy. And there goes some stuff falling. So, here we go. Our Studio Series figure. We don't need the packaging anymore. Just gonna throw it on the ground. And it's Crowbar, a character I wanted for such a long, long time. And what I noticed was, I didn't bring scissors. So let's go be right back. Okay, we are back with some scissors. Safety scissors indeed. So we cannot cut ourselves. So let's go first take a look at the packaging. So we can see Crowbar 03 Studio Series figure. And if you actually wanted to see my initial reaction on this, go click on the card above, because that's the Studio Series video, and there's a lot of uh, cool characters that are going to be coming out soon. And I want to say a big bad thank you for reaching over 12K in that video. So on the box, we can see the upcoming ones. Uh, I know it's a bit blurry, but 01 is B, 02 is Stinger, 03 is uh, Ratchet. Here we see Crowbar in his menacing look and in his uh, suburban mode. And in front of the box, I actually don't want to open this. It just looks so good. It says Transformers Dark of the Moon, Crowbar, Transformers, uh, Transformers Generations, and uh, Studio Series. Man, having his box in hand, it just looks so good. Like, it's all in a perfect frame, and I don't want to open this, but for the sake of a video, we're going to open this, baby. So, I'm going to zoom actually back. Sorry. I didn't know. You guys, you guys know that I'm horrible with cameras. So, where do we start with this guy? Mm, well, I see a piece of tape here. Let's go cut it from here. I want to be very delicate, because this box could be sold in the future for a lot of money. Okay, got the first thing open. All right. Look at that knife over there. So, Crowbar, come out of your plastic prison. Ah, and this is not the only thing that comes with this box, if you guys don't know. See the background? That's the whole cool thing about Studio Series. The Studio Series box, and I'll put this gently on the ground, is that they actually come with their stand. Now, what I'm going to do with this stand, I'm actually going to keep it in the box and then put my box in my box collection, because I have nowhere to put this, as you guys seen in the collection. But, if you guys don't know, this is the scene where Crowbar jumps up and crashes into that sign. So let's go put this in the background. We have our instruction booklet. I'm so happy to open this guy up, man. This is pretty cool. Exact same as Crowbar. So put that on the side. I mean, exact same as Berserker. And here he is in his plastic prison. So let's go open this guy up with our safety scissors. And also, guys, if you want to see more of the unboxing videos, uh, click on the poll. I actually forgot to do that in the Q&A video because 
I used over five cards, and your max is five cards. And I was giving people like uh, stop motion shout outs, so that's why I couldn't add it. So there's going to be a poll on the screen, so if you want to see more of these, definitely click yes. If not, click no. So, looks like we got Crowbar out of his plastic prison. Oh no, Zer got two more lines. Now, I'm wondering if you guys would actually want to see me transform Transformers. Now, I know that's a pretty dumb idea. Well, just to me, but I've got a lot of like people, like family members and stuff saying you should do that, but I just want to hear from you guys. Do you think that's a good idea? Because I honestly take all my opinions off of you guys. I'm not one of those big YouTubers, you know, after 500 subscribers doesn't give a crap about what they're subscribing through. I honestly read every single comment. Yeah, sometimes it takes forever for me to read some of them just because they go into the spam box, but I eventually, and I promise you, will get to it. And I'm also very sorry uh, to Kebab that I didn't put him in the q and I felt really bad, so I hope that made it up to you, buddy. So, you see the spike thing, and I don't want to cut it. And I know the quality on this video is bad, but the only thing is a camera, and I'm not allowed to use my dad's HD camera because, you know, I'm gonna get in trouble or something, because that's how he is. And yeah, so, we do not need this anymore. Let's just dump out all this uh, fuzzly stuff. I say that into the real box, because box collecting is good. Now, these are just the ties, and I'm going to move these under the side. And yay, one fell on the ground, so i got to vacuum that. So, here is Crowbar and his epicness, and where the heck did that other weapon go? It's on the ground. Okay, we're back, and i got a second weapon back. I'm so sorry, this is a horrible video, but hey, only the true fans will understand. So, here we got his Crowbar. Now, he actually is mistransformed, because you can see, where's the dreads? Well, the dreads are actually under here oh god this feels so good actually the soft plastic is actually pretty rough jeez oh dang oh dang this is dang it's pretty cool so move that section up and let's go uh let's see here his little dread of a bobs so spread them out trying to make him more crowbarish now i'm actually thinking if i'm gonna paint these black just to match his accuracy in the film so i want you guys to comment right now if you guys want me to spray paint these black and if not, then just say no. If yes, definitely say yes. Because I was thinking about it. The thing is, I don't know how I'm going to detach these. They seem like they're on like a, a hinge. So maybe that's how I'm going to get them out. The spray paint them. And yeah, let's actually go check. Because I didn't see any other YouTubers do these. Uh, not like, a, uh, like, you know, finding them. So it seems like to get these dreads out, if you ever were wondering on spray painting them, there's a screw here. So you'd have to unscrew the whole back piece. And then take it out. But I'm not going to do that now because, you know, he's a Studio Series figure. And Studio Series figures are beautiful. Most of the time. So, here we go. We got him. And we're going to actually do some size comparisons after we stick these weapons in his hands. So, let's go get him into these hands. And also, I did find a flaw already. These things are in the way. So, it's hard to get these things. But you have to wedge them at an angle. I don't I know. You couldn't even see that. Hello, darkness, my old friend. You have to wedge him at an angle, and you should get him in. If not, then I don't wholly understand. Oh. <sighs> okay, that's one in. And look these zip ties are disgusting. And now we're going to get our second one in. And this guy is actually pretty stiff, which I like. Brand new toy, all brand new joints. Yeah. So, we got Mr. Crowbar all set up. Now, let's go bring in some of his uh, Dread Buddies. And we're also going to be talking about some updates of the collection. So, let's go get his buddy out, Berserker. Now, he's actually custom painted. As you can see, I added some gold hair to him. I know that's not 100% accurate, but I just want him to be more like a Dread. So, here we go. These guys scale pretty well together. I've, I've really got to say, this is, this is nice. And, yeah. So, we got these guys together. Both holding their evil weapons. I wonder if the camera's gonna focus. Let's actually get on that head sculpt. And I know the head sculpt is not turning out that well in the video, just apparently through the camera screen, but that's the best I could do unless it gets blurry. Uh, also, let's go get the original uh, Berserker, not the Berserker, uh, the original, what's his name? Crankcase. Next to him. And they, and they scale pretty good. Like, I do not like. How they're different. How he's all black, which is more movie accurate, and like he's all gray. So what I'm planning on doing, and go in the comments if you agree or disagree, is buying another one of these guys 
and painting him all black and making him into the new uh, crane case. Even though I like this mold a lot better. I love that mold more and I wish they used this. I actually said that in the original uh, video on the Studio Series where Crowbar looked like a mess and I criticized him. But right now he actually really doesn't look like a mess. And yes, this is the worst comparison because, you know, I can't even use a camera right. That That's about good. I hope you guys can see that. Zoom in. Zoom out. That's as much as I can zoom out. Oh god. That's the best you can get. I'm sorry if there's a lot of background noise because people are having a party downstairs and this is the only day I could record this video because tomorrow I'm going to a friend's house. So let's go move out these boys. And Crowbar just fell down because he didn't want to do it anymore. This is also Berserker's spike weapon. So let's go actually put him on the stand, see what he looks like. And he dropped his weapon again. I'll, I'll just put those weapons on the side, actually. So here he is in his stand, and... So here he is in his Studio Series 03 stand. And this thing looks pretty cool. So I'm going to bring him up closer to the screen. I know I talk a lot during these videos because I have nothing else to talk about. And I'm actually going to say one thing. These stands have a tendency to fold back unless you put them on like a solid wall because you can see how wobbly it is because this is on a hinge piece and yeah the rest is cardboard but hey it's still a great inclusion to get and yeah we'll just plop them down i think that looks pretty good so our first character that has been getting a rehaul is soundwave from dark of the moon and i don't know if you can see it that well on camera but he is all painted in silver except for this part this part still has to be re-sanded down and spray painted and this part, I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a little line here that got, got redone. And yeah, he is pretty cool. I'm not going to transform this guy because, you know, I'm scared a piece is going to break or the paint's going to chip. And he looks pretty dang cool. And let's go compare him next to Crowbar. Pretty good. Pretty good size. Some of should be bigger. I also like his cannon on here just to make him more G1 accurate. And uh, I don't know why I can't get my figures to stand because Soundwave's about to fall unless I bend him over like that. Crowbar is kind of a hunchback, unless you do that. Oh, what is his head? Yeah, that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Oh, wait. Yeah, there's like some dread detail right here. Ish. And our next figure we're going to be bringing in is Dark of the Moon DA34 Leadfoot. Now, this is the official one from the Karatomi. And yeah, he has all of his repo label sets on, and I'm very happy how this guy turned out. He looks beautiful. Oh my god. I'm, I'm so happy I have this figure. I know a lot of people don't have him. He does cost a lot of money. So, yeah, I saved up for a whole Christmas, and this guy was my only Christmas present, and was definitely worth it, because you can see his Target logo. And, yeah. And I gotta say, these guys are pretty cool. So, guys, I decided not to do the transformation because it took 30 minutes long to do, and it didn't even look good at all. So, here he is. Now, I could not, I swear, I could not manage to line this thing up properly. It's the same issue with Berserker, but he's still a good toy. Now, like I said, there's two ways to transform this guy. You see this. There is dreads uh, coming out of his behind. So what people have done is gripping it and attempting to fold these in. And I it looks pretty easy on what people have done. But the issue with this is it's going to bend these. Now, these are supposed to be bend, but they stay in place really well. And then you have to, like, get a, uh, what are those called? Like a hair dryer or something of hot. And then you have to unbreak it or something. It's a long story, but the thing is with that, it makes it a lot better, but it untabs everything even more. Now, what would I rate this figure? I gotta say, this figure, really good, really solid figure. I actually like him a lot. And there's a Thundercracker coming out, and I'll be doing a video on that. So here Crowbar is in his stand. Now, I actually decided not to transform my other dreads because this guy is actually broken. Because as you can see here, there's a little white line, that's super glue, because this piece transformed while I was uh, transforming him during the video. So I just transformed him back, and then we just got Berserker here. And I guess what you could do is Berserker scanning a vehicle or something, I don't know. It would look pretty cool. But guys, that is this collection update, and if you enjoyed, please give a big fat like, because I know you guys actually enjoyed it. And if you have any recommendations with these channel updates on how to do better quality, because you know, this does not look good at all and i want to hear your thoughts because i read each and every one of your guys' comments regardless and i always will until i get like over 50,000 comments in my comment section 
until there's too much at one time. But I love to read your comments, and it is really good because I like your feedback, I like your negativity, if it's like criticizing negativity. And yeah, well, I gotta say thanks for tuning into this video, even though, you know, it's not a normal trans theorist video. But I gotta say big fat thank you. So, this has been Trans Theories, signing off. Well, you call